All right, guys, Lifting Titan here with uh, Realms Gaming. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. So I am actually in school for uh, game development at a local community college here in Colorado. And I currently have C++ this semester. I'm on week four. Um, and so to kind of make sure that I am retaining information and learning, I figured I would kind of do a, not a let's play, but a let's code series. So kind of me explaining how um, C++ works. Um, I am not going to go over how to set up VS Code or another IDE for C++. You guys can go ahead and do that yourselves and do that legwork. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start with a Hello World app. Um, and we're going to start with coding. Um, hashtag include. And IOS. Oop, not that. IO stream. Stream with a M. Okay. And, oh, it's giving me an error. Of course it is. Come on. Okay, so um, a lot, I'm gonna try to step this down code by code, line by line. So what this basically does, this is telling the compiler and computer to include um, IO stream. What that does is it allows you to do input output statements and make sure that the user can input and output things. So the user is going to input something that we can then use to output to the screen. Um, we then need to go ahead and have this int main in here. This is going to be the main part of our code. Um, and if you go, if you use via VS code, you can actually highlight things and it will tell you. Um, but this is going to be the main body of our code. And we're going to go ahead and put a return zero at the bottom of that. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is it is going to be um, bad standardized coding to put in the namespace um, value up above our int. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to not do any variables at this point, we're just going to output to the screen for the user. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to do STD, which is pretty much the namespace um, identifier and variable. And then we are going to do COT, COUT, which is output to the screen. We are then going to do two arrows. Hello world, which is what literally everybody learns in coding first. Close that. We're going to do another STD and end all and line. So what this is telling the program and compiler to do, guys, is it is saying we're going to output to the screen here. Anything that is going to be in um, quotes in this is going to print out to the screen. So we're going to go ahead and debug the C++ file. Um, and VS Code was not very friendly at first to work for me, but here we go. So as you guys can see here in the terminal, it outputted hello world. Um, let's go ahead and let's add another, um, let's do a basic variable. So let's do another um, statement there. Let's just get it ready. Um, on line five, we're gonna go ahead and declare a variable. So in C++, unlike Python, you need to be very specific with your variable usage. So let's go ahead and let's do just an integer. So int, um, let's just use x, and then we're gonna end with a, a seven, uh, what's that called, not a semicolon. Yeah, semicolon. Um, and let's go ahead and do a y. Um, let's go ahead and set x to, let's say 10, and let's set y to five. And then let's go ahead and go down here. So unlike the hello world, you can just put in the variable. So let's put X. Let's do a space. So we have a space between the two. Let's do a Y. And then let's go ahead and end that with All right, let's go ahead and save that. And then when we run this, guys, if you look in the terminal down here, hello world, 12 and five. Um, 
So what we're gonna go ahead and do now with this is we're gonna kind of walk through line by line what the compiler does when it is doing this. Um, So we'll close that. Okay, so what the compiler is telling the program to do, it's reading line one. It's gonna include that output input stream for the user. It's then skipping line two, it's going to line three and it's initializing the main program here. It's then going down to line skipping four, going down to five. Computer is then reading that is it, that the variable X is going to be an integer or that X is an integer. Same thing with uh, Y. We are then going down, it is then going down to line eight. In programming, um, the equal sign here, guys, does not mean equals, that means assigned to. So it is assigning the integer value of 12 to X and the integer value of five to Y. It is then skipping a line and then outputting to the screen, hello world, which is what we put in here, end line, so it's gonna do a return down to the next line when you print it uh, to the screen and then X and Y. So the um, logic for programming, um, let's say we go down here and we then reassign X, we say X equals X plus Y. Um, that is going to overwrite this value of 12. So let's go ahead and um, delete the hello world just so we're focusing on the variables now. Let's go ahead and go here and run the program. If you guys see here now, it has reassigned that value of X to 17. Um, and why is that? So the computer is, we are telling the program and the computer that X equals 12. We, and that uh, Y is five. We are then going down a line and we are, remember the equal sign is not equal. So we are reassigning the value of X to X, what was here, plus five. Um, and that is how it's going to work in all programs. So let's say we went down here and we said y equals y plus one minus x. And we ran that. 17 and negative 11. So then, as we are seeing, we keep changing the value. So we could continue to do this. We could say x equals x times y. And we could then reassign it again and say y equals y times y. And the computer and the program would then take those new values, negative 187 and 121. So as you guys can see kind of here, these were the original values of x and y. We changed the variable, we changed both variables, we changed them again. Um, and that is kind of where I got hung up when I first started to learn Python and um, now with C++, I'm not getting hung up on that. Um, but that is kind of where I got hung up. Um, just because it is very, very confusing at first. Um, it's not like algebra where an equal sign says equals. You are assigning that. So let's say we went up here. We used a uh, character value. Um, a character, let's just do name equals... Titan. Oh, why is it being on right coming? Why is it giving me an error? It shouldn't be giving me an error. Pretty sure that is the command for that. Give me one second, guys. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, so then you can do things like then we have to do the STD there for that. 
and that should work. Okay, um, so we can also do this with strings, guys, and I'll um, have a string to work. You need to make sure you do the include string, you do the std string there. So name is, and you can actually go in here and you can do, you can actually add to a variable just like that. So you can even do it with strings, which is kind of really cool. So if you go in here, oh, what did I do wrong? I forgot to end that. Okay, now let's try. There we go. So if you guys saw, we even did this with a string variable, right? So we set the um, string variable name is to Titan. We then said that name is equals name is up here, which was Titan. And we added the um, is awesome to it. And it um, added it there. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here, guys. going to try to keep these between 10 minutes long. Um, the next... Um, Next one, I'm gonna kind of run over a very basic program like this one that I did um, and kind of go over comments as well. If you guys like this content, feel free to like and subscribe and we will catch you later.